Following surgery, how a patient's post-operative pain is treated can make a significant difference in their recovery. This is especially true for morbidly obese patients who should limit or avoid narcotic usage because of their negative and potentially dangerous side effects. That's why more and more bariatric surgeons are trusting OnQ Pain Buster for treating their patients' post-operative pain. Unlike narcotics that affect the entire body and can create dangerous and debilitating side effects, a local anesthetic is used to numb the area around the incision, providing relief only where it is needed. The OnQ Pain Buster is a high-tech elastomeric balloon, which is filled with local anesthetic, which provides effective pain relief as it is automatically delivered for up to five days. The patented soaker catheter provides an even infusion of local anesthetic to the surgical site. When the infusion is complete, the catheters may be pulled out easily and the pump disposed of. OnQ can significantly reduce a patient's need for narcotics and reduce or eliminate the related complications that can put a bariatric patient at risk. Many bariatric programs across the nation are selecting OnQ as their standard of care for post-op pain management. I have found that the OnQ has been very, very helpful for our patients, both preoperatively in learning how their pain will be managed and postoperatively being pleasantly surprised at how quickly they're up and about and doing the things that we want them to do, which is being up ambulatory and getting back to an active daily living as quickly as possible. As you know, pain management with Joint Commission is immensely important. And so part of what we document, both in the hospital and also in our clinic, is um, what is their pain scale. It's usually three or under, and by the time they're in the clinic, which is just a couple days after surgery, uh, it's usually a zero or a one. Yeah, we do a laparoscopic gastric bypass, and uh, we've been doing essentially the same operation since 1993 when we did the first one in the world. So from 1993, Essentially, the port placement's the same. We did change the port. We used to use a 33 millimeter port, and now we just use a, an incision just large enough to place the circular stapler into the skin. And that's the port that hurts the most. It's the lower port side on our patients on the left side. And it's a little bit bigger than the other ports because the circular stapler is a little bit larger. We use a 21 circular stapler. And we place sutures in that, or one suture now, and that tends to hurt the patients a little bit more than the other ports that don't require any closure at all. And it's that port that we block. It's the lower port side on the left. And so now, and this has been going on for months and months and months, we don't use PCA at all. We insert the iFlow catheter, the on-cube pain pump catheter. It was seamless for me. I didn't even know that it was there. Uh, and I didn't even know how effective it was, but it certainly was effective. I think the OnQ really made a big difference as far as being able to move beyond the pain and on to re full recovery. Avoiding narcotics is essential for morbidly obese patients. By adopting OnQ as the standard of care for relieving post-op pain following bariatric surgery, you will be able to eliminate or significantly reduce your patient's need for narcotics. OnQ is now indicated to provide significantly better pain relief than narcotics and significantly less need for narcotics following surgery. This can provide for an earlier discharge and help patients to get back to normal faster. Redefining recovery for us is in those three spheres. The patients are clear mentation, they have quicker return of bowel function, and their sleep apnea, if they have it, is not affected by the narcotics. And so when we are able to, to control their pain or minimize their pain, which then allows the patient to do postoperatively what we've instructed them to do, and they knew all the benefits of doing that, you also put them on the path to succeeding. And I think that the on cue gives them the tool to succeed. The patient's recovery is our, is our main thing. And, and if we can do that, in a clear, concise fashion uh, to not affect them in any outward way other than our surgery, um, we're, we're ahead of the game.